If you are preparing for IMAT and study a concept for biology, physics and chemistry and after a while you forget it, then today I am going to show you my system in Notion uh, by following which you can remember all of IMAT concept easily and effectively. So let's get into the video. If you are new here, my name is Sami. I am a student currently preparing for IMAT on this channel. We explore strategies and tools that help students to become more productive in their studies. Welcome to the ongoing series of IMAT. It is very very common that we learn a concept or read a topic and we forget it because our brain does not store it in long term memory. The reason is it is scientifically proved that if someone does not read a topic or revise a topic after one week he forgets 70% and after two weeks everything gone. So in order to store something in your long term memory you have to revise within five to seven days otherwise it will not store even in your short term memory. So today I am going to show you a method for best revision practices that is clonals method according to this method when you study a topic or read a topic write some relevant questions to that topic and hide answers for that question. You can use Google Sheets, Google Docs, OneNote for this, even your notebook for these purposes. But I am going to show you my dummy revision method on Notion. So let's get to the screen. So here I will show you a topic. You can take an idea from that and can implement it by yourself or obviously transform it or redesign it. But it is the simplest and best method uh, that you will ever follow. Here is our topic mitochondria so i have right i have taken some note for this topic like introduction structure i know you will you will be thinking like these are just four statements how it is like questions and notes and everything it's a toggle feature that i am using so don't worry about it you will figure it out uh, so we have first i have taken some notes First of all, it is introduction, then structure, and then my handwritten notes. So, but before it, before going to notes and active recall questions, uh, I want to show you that I have created this mitochondria. Actually, it is a dummy uh, thing. I don't use this uh, type of uh, structure for my notes taking. Uh, I use for one chapter and then I write topics on that more on this in next video uh, or more ne not next video but soon i will be sharing uh, my notes taking system how i take notes in notion so stick with this channel uh, it will be helpful so uh, here is mitochondria uh, i have created this on may 7 2023 at 4:20 am uh, but i have allocated my next vision for may 11 like five days later so status is in progress uh, we will be see we will see everything in our upcoming videos about notion and imat so let's come to the uh, notes section how i created notes for this mitochondria organelle like in introduction i have further used toggle feature like i have used discovery world history size number shape other name origin and so on in each of toggle i have some information for that statement like who discovered mitochondria so if i unhide toggle i will see uh, 1857 by physiologist albert van Kolliker. so i can hide it and then we have word history then we have size then we have number and so on everything is in this manner actually rod filament vesicle third shape no in a level it has sausage shape so it has sausage shape and other name we have like chondrosome and sarcosome origin occurrence composition so this is this will be going on uh, you can note as much as information you need and you have but let's move on to structure in structure we have uh, like structure of mitochondria first we have membranes then we have matrix then we have christy and then we have everything that mitochondria have is included here uh, not everything but those which are this part of imat labels uh, are included here so we here goes our structure i have also taken notes handwritten notes that i have 
picture by using phone and check it here so in handwritten notes section you can see uh, i have a nice detailed notes of mitochondria uh, so but that is not part of our today's video uh, it will be discussed in later video uh, that will be how i take notes in notion for i am at so but now we the part of this video is active recall question how i use active recall section so i have created some questions here what is mitochondria components of mitochondria current size shape and why mitochondria is known as power house of cell so when i will be coming back to may 11 2023 i will just i will not see each and every information here not i will look at introduction and my structure handwritten notes i will look at active recall questions so what is mitochondria although i have put information put in information here though in all of these toggles but now i have to answer what is mitochondria so if i answer it i can unhide it and see does it match to my answer thus actually mitochondria is a very simple topic and um, you can use this feature for more complex topic more conceptual questions uh, more conceptual topics but it is not as conceptual it is a, just an informative topic so what is mitochondria then components of mitochondria i have to answer what is the components of mitochondria uh, i have to recall uh, like uh, membranes then f1 f0 particle porins and each and everything so later we have occurrence size shape and then we can say what processes occur in mitochondria i have to answer electron transport chain and krebs cycle so here is here goes like this we have to active recall when we recall like this way it will become a prominent thing in our brain and it will be not forgotten as soon uh, as we do for other stuff it was just a, a brief active recall method for i met a comprehensive guide will be in next video how i create flashcard for imat and also i will be sharing my second brain for imat uh, later because it is now under construction so subscribe this channel and connect with me on instagram if you have any questions uh, feel free to ask me on instagram if if you have come to this far end of the video you might love to check out this video over here which is my 8 hours timetable for imat which is a comprehensive guide you can implement it it is far more productive and you will find it helpful and valuable so thanks for watching see you next video bye bye